Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on to the Azure Tables and Cosmos DB cheat sheet for the DP900. I want to point out something uh, that I'm sure you already know about, but in the course, I spelt Cosmos DB without the S like everywhere. And I'm not going to go back and <laughs> fix that, uh, but I know I'm going to hear like the, never the end of it for like the next year, okay? So uh, let's start at the top here Azure Tables. It's a key value data store, can be hosted on either Azure Storage Account Storage. It is designed for a single region and single table, can be hosted on Cosmos DB. And when it's hosted here, it's designed for scale across multiple regions. Cosmos DB, a fully managed NoSQL service that supports multiple NoSQL engines called APIs. Why they didn't call them engines, I don't know. Uh, Core SQL API, this is the default one. It's a document database. You can use SQL to query documents. And when people are talking about Cosmos DB, that's what they're talking about, the document database, the default one, okay? Graph APIs, a graph database you can use uh, 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 with Gremlin to traver traverse the nodes and edges. MongoDB API, a MongoDB database. It is a document database. Tables AI, it's just Azure Tables key value, but within Cosmo DB. Apache Tinkerpop, an open source framework uh, to have an agnostic way to talk to many graph databases. They probably won't ask you about Tinkerpop on the exam. Gremlin, graph traversal language to traverse nodes and edges. You definitely need to know what Gremlin is and be used to uh, seeing what it is like, identify what it looks like. MongoDB, an open source document database. And the way it works is it has its own um, uh, data structure, its document structure called BSON, which is binary JSON, a, a storage and compute optimized version of JSON, introduces new data types. Cosmo DB Explorer, a web UI to view Cosmos databases, and there you go.